So here's an interesting web page that's using Hoops Communicator to visualize uh, here at an office building in, in 3D. So we have a, a canvas object here that we're rendering into. We've also placed some um, different uh, unique uh, areas where we're recording data um, from, from these particular locations using IoT devices. They're uh, Arduino Wi-Fi enabled microcontrollers with some environmental sensors on it. And um, we can do things like uh, click on, on one individual one in the scene, it gets highlighted kind of in our, our list, and then we're shown real-time information. So this, this uh, environmental sensor is reporting information every, every five seconds. Um, or if we wanted to, we could kind of zoom out at a, a more uh, a larger level and turn on the information getting broadcast from each of those. And to show that it's actually re reporting information, like here, um, I can kind of zoom in on this one particular device in, in my office, and it's reporting a, a lot of uh, information. Um, luminance is around 1500, but if I kind of cover that, it's right in the sun right now, you'll notice that uh, the luminance for that will go down drastically, just showing in, in real time um, that data is being, being recorded. Uh, we can also show, let's say for this currently selected device, uh, the, the history. So we have um, environmental temperature data being reported for that over the last 15 minutes. Um, Illuminance, so a couple times when I, I covered it up, uh, as well as, as pressure and humidity. So the, the real deal here is we're able to marry the uh, 3D data with real-time information coming from, from different locations and being able to monitor and reflect that and be able to navigate that um, contextual data uh, using this, this 3D scene and be able to bring together a number of different types of technology. So again, the 3D is being rendered in, in Hoops Communicator. Uh, the data is coming from a number of IoT devices. There are Arduino Wi-Fi 1010s. The, uh, the user interface here, all of kind of the styling is done with a technology called Bulma for front end. Um, data is being managed using Vue.js and their data store called Vue.x. And then some of our graphing here as well um, is being done with, with Chart.js wrapped wrapped in view. On the back end, we have um, an AWS service called uh, AWS IoT Core, and that's recording all of our data being transmitted from these different devices. And then it's relaying it to uh, Amazon Web Services EC2 server that's running uh, a database to record it, a Dynamo database and then um, it's relaying it down in real time using WebSockets. Again, every five seconds, but it can be on a much, um, much finer interval or, or much larger interval as well. So check out this, uh, this technology at techsoft3d.com or other projects on the Labs website, labs.techsoft3d.com.